Today I will share with you how I made a game in 30 days having no experience and also I will share with you guys how hard was it and what kind of difficulties I faced along the way and my full 30 days journey. Those who didn't watch my first video about game dev, I tried to make a horror game as my first game. So let's get into it. My first couple of days were brainstorming ideas and finding assets. Then I found this very useful asset. This will basically set up the typical horror game features like jump scares and flashlight mechanisms. They got well explained documentation on their site. Also a big shout out to ResDev as his tutorial videos about this asset helped me a lot. Those who watched my first video knows that I made a huge mistake by making the map first as most developers do prototypes for finding out if the idea will work or not. But nevertheless, I spent first 15 days designing my map which contains a village in middle of a forest. I had to find assets again from different websites like Sketchfab, TurboSquid and Unity Store as I had no experience at 3D modeling whatsoever. But at the end, I ended up having various structures like broken village houses, a church, a graveyard, a modern looking house and some amazing trees and textures for my terrain. I was pretty happy with the final look of my map. Not to forget the voice recorder model as I ended up searching a whole day for it. From day 16 to 20, I was trying to add some enemies in the game so the game can be challenging. I found this suitable entity from Sketchfab and asked my partner ChatGPT if he can give me a script for the entity. The entity will just stand still and act as a sudden jump scare but will vanish with an eerie sound when my flashlight reaches it. Once I got the script, I pasted it in the game and decided to try out if the script really works as I wanted it to be. Well, it wasn't working, so I head over to ChatGPT again and asked him to identify the issue and solve it. It was working fine after some debugging, and I wanted to include some variety as the standstill entity won't be dealing damage. I asked ChatGPT if he can give me a script which will move the entity upon trigger and damage the player upon contact. Initially, it was not working at first, but again, after some debugging, it was working correctly. But it took me so much time to set it up even with the help of ChatGPT. Trying to make a game without any coding knowledge is difficult indeed, but I was determined to finish the game. Now, during day 21 to 30, I decided to focus on the sound design and bug fixing. I got voiceover for audio log from Elvin Labs and sound effects from Freesound. Now as my project was at the very end phrase, I had some time to reflect on the things I did and redo some works. I learned so much from these 30 days. Now many people will advise you to start small, but I would say it doesn't matter if you start small or big. If you are determined you can finish it and learn along the way. Learning along while making the game is so much more beneficial than just watching tutorials and trying to duplicate. Now if anyone wants to play the game, kindly comment down below, I will upload it in itch.io. The game still got many bugs, but not any game breaking bug yet. And that was my 30 days journey trying to make my first game. Kindly like the video and subscribe for more future game dev video, as I am already trying to make a casual game for game distribution sites. Thanks for watching. See ya.